Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Con and Brandy and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is your big puppy's ability to understand and respond to his formal on-leash obedience commands. The lots of motivation, a little bit of correction that we give the pups when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Brandy is using a regular six foot web training leash and she keeps the bulk of the leash folded neatly in her right hand. That leaves her left hand free to give any correction that's needed and the only correction that we give is a little tug and release on the training collar and that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. You'll be introduced to your new training equipment when you come for graduation and Con will be going home with it. Now he is sitting very nicely at Brandy's left which is where all of our obedience training is done and the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is one of the most important commands when you're dealing with your giant breeds and the command is Con heal. Now at this point Con has a job to do and that is to maintain pace with you when walking. Not forging ahead, not dragging you down the street and each time that you stop your feet he should sit and wait for his next command. So if Brandy speeds up just a little bit or slows down, she's walking at a very slow pace, which is harder for a dog because it gives them a chance to be distracted. When you move at a more rapid pace, they have less time to get distracted and they have to focus on you. If Brandy changes direction or turns, left turn, right turn, about turn, he should be right there glued to her left side so that he knows where she is because that's his job to know where she is and each time that she stops her feet whether you're stopping to cross traffic or talk to someone on the street he should be sitting nicely and waiting for the next command and the next command that she's going to demonstrate is the sit stay the stay is a hand and a voice command okay. and because it is a stationary exercise it is a one word command you do not use his name your long sit stay you can practice indoors as well as outdoors and it helps to build self-control, focus and maturity. You're going to start out at about 30 seconds and slowly work up to 3 minutes. When Brandy returns back to him she walks counterclockwise all the way around him back to where they started at heel position and she stops at his shoulders and at this point he expects to get another command. If he drops his head or he stops paying attention you'll see that little tug and release that we talked about at the beginning of the video and that's a reminder to him like hey I'm up here pay attention to me and she's talking to him now he didn't sit right away so she said no sit and he sat right away. He's a puppy. He gets distracted, but you want to teach that focus now and keep going with it. Now this time, instead of returning back to him, Brandy's going to demonstrate the recall or the come on command. And his job is to come and sit, not come and bowl you over backwards. And he's more than capable of doing that. And they take off healing again. And I think that that's one of the things that we hear most of here at school. It's no longer enjoyable to walk my dog. He drags me. And it hurts my shoulder and it hurts my back. And this is an exercise that is designed to always make you walking your dog a pleasure. She makes him hold that stay. Lengthen that out, like I said. And do it in the house. Do it at your doorways. She's going to call him in again, comes right in and sits and this teaches him to get that praise that he's, you know, wanting. He has to come and sit. No jumping. nice automatic sit. Now the next commands that we're going to be demonstrating for you are your down commands and there are two. The first one is the down from a heel position. So with the dog seated at your left you're going to use your left open palm straight down toward the ground and the one word command to down and stay. Yeah. 
And actually, Brandy's been dropping the leash on some of these exercises, so he's working into intermediate training, which is great. Your long down stay when you're practicing at home is for a minute working up to five. In the summertime, best practice right in the air conditioning. It makes him think, it makes him focus. There's no downside to practicing down commands. One thing about your Corso is that he has a lovely personality. He's a sweetheart. He can still be stubborn, which is also a breed trait. So don't let him get over on you. It's very important that when you give him a command, he does it and you don't give up until he does do it. And Brandy's coming in on Sunday, especially to work with you with him because she's worked very hard. And I think they've both done a great job. You saw that little tug she just gave him because he didn't sit automatically? Very nicely done. He's responding really well. He sees something under the fence or something. I don't know what he's doing. He comes in and sits, and that's an automatic sit as well. And the very last command that we're going to demonstrate for you is his down from a distance. And we'll have a packet of information for you on Sunday that we'll go over with you. You'll get a chance to work with him hands-on with Brandy here acting as your coach. She's going to leave him in a sit-stay. She's going to turn to face him. This is the only time that you use your right hand to give the command. And she's going to drop him into a down from a down. Now, I came to her instead, so she leaves him again in a stay. Just heal him out of it, Brandy. He knows this. And, you know, sometimes we, we like to do perfect videos, but sometimes it's better to see what we do. He's distracted. There's traffic out on the street. It's a busy Friday afternoon. He can hear the cars. So she stood in closer to him. And that's what you do when he's not responding to his down from a distance. Stand closer. And get him to complete the command as it was taught. Now we have demonstrated for you all of Khan's formal on-leash obedience commands. He's done a great job. You can't beat his temperament. He's a smart boy. Just keep your eye out for that stubborn streak that Corsos have. We used to breed Corsos. I've owned them. My daughter owns one now. So we're very familiar with the breed and they can be very hard headed and it's their way or the highway. So you just have to think faster than he is. We've enjoyed every minute of his being with us. We want to thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company and we will see you on Sunday.